Hi, my name's Laura Nuppel. I'm a plastic surgeon at St. John and St. Elizabeth Hospital. I'm going to be talking about Dupuytren's disease. This is a disease of the fascia of the palm, which is the layer just under the skin. You can see on this model here, with the skin removed, this white layer is the fascia. And if we just take that off, we can see the tendons, the blood vessels and the nerves which are underneath. These are all unaffected, it just affects the fascia, which is this thin layer here. It's a genetic disease and it most commonly affects people of Northern European descent, so it's very common in the UK. It generally affects men over the age of 50, but if you have a strong gene in the family, it can affect you at a younger age and it can affect females in the family. It often starts as small nodules or firm lumps in the palm of the hand. You can get some pits of skin being drawn into the palm and eventually it may progress as cords growing up to the fingers, usually the little finger and the ring finger. It will pull these knuckles down initially and then it will start to bend these joints of the fingers and you cannot extend the fingers, you can't straighten them. And this causes a lot of problems, just simple day-to-day -day things like trying to wash your face, put your hands into pockets and people feel very self-conscious trying to shake someone's hand because you can't straighten the fingers. It can affect people's work and hobbies too, such as sports and musical instruments and even typing on a computer. Some people who have a strong genetic predisposition to getting Dupuytren's disease may actually get it earlier if you have a hand injury or if you have a minor hand operation, such as a carpal tunnel release or a trigger finger release, it can start the triggering the growth of the disease early. If you think you have a nodule in the palm or a lump in the palm, uh, we recommend seeing a hand surgeon to diagnose a problem because not all lumps in the palm will be Dupuytren's disease. You don't need any scans or tests for Dupuytren's, we can make a clinical diagnosis and advise you on the best management. And a lot of that time in the early disease, we may just say, let's watch and wait. About 50% of people won't progress to have any uh, contractures, but 50% will, and this will progress slowly over many years. If you have a, a very firm nodule that's growing quickly, it will be quite tender and we may offer a steroid injection. The steroid injection will settle down the tenderness, but it won't reverse or uh, cure the disease. It won't affect the disease process. If you're very young at the onset of this, we know you'll have a more severe course of the disease over many years. So we may consider radiotherapy. And this has been shown to possibly slow down the disease process and prolong the need for having surgery for contractures later in life. If, however, you do have the contractures and you cannot straighten your fingers, surgery is the mainstay of treatment. You can expect to come in for day surgery, so you will come in and go home the same day. Most often I operate on these under local anaesthetic, so you'll be awake, but some people will require a nerve block from the top of the arm to numb the whole arm, or possibly a general anaesthetic. And this will be discussed with you on a case-by-case -case basis, and it's based on surgeon and patient preference. Once you've had your operation, you'll have a big bulky dressing on and a plaster cast and you'll be up in a sling. Your hand must be above your heart for a couple of weeks, day and night, and this will minimise swelling and pain and stiffness. I work closely with our hand therapy colleagues here who are a fantastic team who will work with you to minimise any swelling and stiffness and they will give you specific exercises to do. They'll make splints to help straighten the fingers, which we generally will have to wear for about three months. It's about a three month recovery time initially. The wounds will take about two weeks to heal, but you'll be going through lots of hand therapy appointments over about a three month period of time. After surgery, you can expect a better quality of life and get back to the things that you love doing. So if you think you have Dupuytren's disease or any other problem with your hand that you want to get checked, please do make an appointment with us at John and Lizzie's Hospital. We'll be happy to see you and guide you.